Welcome back to Cuckoo Maintenance. Today I'm going to show you how to install a mailbox. Now this one was a manager mailbox. Uh, you want to check with your local post office for the exact rules and specifications for how you'll install your mailbox. So I'm just going to show you how I was able to do mine. So here it goes. Okay, today I got a locking mailbox lock. I'm going to start assembling it here and then I'll set it in concrete and uh, everything where it needs to go. So I've got my instructions. Um, the post is a Stevens post, postmaster. Um, and this is a US Postal Service approved locking mailbox. Uh, kind of nice because it's got a nice strong door on it and heat operation. There's the key. And then the postal service can drop in items through here. The other nice thing is someone can't easily put their hand through and uh, take items. And some of the other ones they had, the doors were a little flimsy and the, um, you know, and someone could actually reach their hand through the space, you know, unless they had really big hands. So, um, but this one is pretty, pretty, pretty nice one. Um, so, also what I have is the mounting post. So now the mounting post actually has this piece that goes in the concrete. Okay, so this part gets mounted in the concrete, get this nice and level, and then I'll be able to mount the rest of the mailbox. So now it's uh, just some assembly required. Uh, I'm going to assemble it all. Got an anchor here, bottom plate, nice end top cap, and uh, <laughs> Let me get it going here. Lots of fun. So the first thing is this piece here. And it's actually got a nice diagram right on the box that's so going to make it a lot easier to assemble. So this piece goes in here like that. And the top plate goes on like so. And this is going to be a lot easier for me to assemble uh, here rather than at the mailbox. Yeah, also, I need to get my measurements correct because uh, the box needs to be set up 42 inches tall and 6 inches from the uh, nearest mailbox and they told me which one to put it right next to. And um, so I just have to get it uh, those dimensions, 6 inches from the curb, 6 inches from the mailbox next to it, and 42 inches tall. Um, so, you know, again, just some assembly here. Yeah, get my box of screws out. And this particular post can also be used for a side mount mailbox, but I'm going to go with a bottom mount mailbox. But here's my posts and arms. And then all my bolts. Like that. Good, good, good. So yeah, just going to kind of separate the parts into their own little piles so I don't get anything lost. And got directions here also, so that's helpful. So. My box is going to be a bottom mount mailbox. It's actually got directions for a side mount standard or a side mount large and then for a bottom mount. So I'm going to be going with the bottom mount. And it's probably helpful if I look at the uh, directions on the right language. That, that would be helpful. So, Which sometimes is a little tricky figuring out which ones actually in the right language here. <laughs> so this portion of the post slips over the the top arm. Top cap goes on the top arm. Again I'm just gonna separate out my parts bag here. And got four, five, six of these screws, two of these Looks like six nuts, two washers, 
three of these screws and a black washer. All right. And the question is, where do the washers go? <laughs> so, figure that out from our picture here. Oh, and the washers go through the uh, mounting arm. So, here's the mounting arm. Looks like this is the top cap. And the top cap has a hole right in the top portion and that lines up for the, the very top cap so that we can secure that on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So first we're going to slide on our assembly. So, it looks like we have a screw that goes through the mounting arm and it's the hex bolt screw so it's one of these that's going to go through right here adjustable wrench for this. Top cap goes here. And we have the ability to adjust the height where we want it. On this one, the deal is going to pass through it's going to pass through one of the washers and then the other washer on the other side and then the neck. There's that, and then the net. And I'm just kind of loosely assembling the parts just to make it easier to once I get things situated. I'm not really going to cinch anything down yet, just going to kind of get them loosely assembled. Okay, so definitely when assembling this stuff, you're going to want to feel around and make sure nothing's cross-threaded. shouldn't have to force anything. Everything should turn nice and easy. So an adjustable wrench is going to be good for tightening this down. Okay. So again, I'm just turning this around to get it, get it all situated here. And there we go. I don't want to snug it down too too much yet because I still want some ability to uh, adjust it. Okay. So just going to kind of get it in its general position, and uh, I can adjust that height once uh, the pole is mounted in a place. Just going to be most important to get it nice and level, and then from there. We can adjust the height of the mailbox itself and mount it exactly where we want it. Okay, so next we got the plate here. Just gonna, well, before I mount the plate, it'd actually probably be good to just go ahead and mount these deals. Um, basically, just gonna line up the holes and then, depending on my mailbox, Roll over right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So I'll need access to the inside. And a plastic sheet here, which I'm just temporarily going to pull out. And got some heavy duty bolts here. That's great.
Okay. Okay, the mailbox itself actually came with some with a drill bit and some bolts to bolt it to a wooden platform. But I'll be going with the metal platform, so I won't need those. Uh, sorry about the annoying chirping in the back in the background. I need to get a nine volt battery for my smoke alarm, so <laughs> uh, sorry about that. But uh, it is what it is. Just getting it recorded today and done. So I'm going to flip up the mailbox and then we're going to basically examine exactly where our plate is going to go and where our screws are going to pass through down into the mitt from the uh, mailbox down into our deal here. So here we go. And I think the easy way for this will be to go ahead and pass my screws through and then I can line up the uh, mailbox in theory, which actually didn't work out because I actually need to go this way instead. I think this is about the easiest way to get this done. I, not, you guys may have some different ideas about that, but this is how I'm going to get it done. Now what I've got is my brackets here. I'm going to overlap these where possible. That looks good about right there. So that's the tricky part. But this is a bottom mount box, so I should be able to, in theory, only in theory, of course. be able to mount the box here and then figure out how it's going to line up from there. Basically what we have here is our bolts. Yep. A little bit more to figure out. An instructions call for setting the plate here, having a third empty hole down towards the back of the post. So what we're going to want to do is go to this side and screw down the plate to the deal. And again, just feeling for it to not be cross-threaded. And the second one as well. Then we'll go ahead and turn it on. Give it a go. And again, I'm just avoiding forcing anything. Don't want it to be cross-threaded. Just want it to be nice and snug. And for now, I'm just going to I'm just getting it basically assembled before the final tightening.
Okay. Now we'll be able to put the mailbox on and we'll see how everything lines up and I can more closely get it organized. Where it should be. Okay, so now for our bottom mount box, it calls for lining these up, facing these pieces down, and calls for lining up the third hole with the third hole. Just like that. Passing the screw down through the center, like so. And then put in the locking nut on the back of the second hold down, which is this one here. So I'll give that a shot. Maybe some different options for each particular box, but so I'll try that again. Third hole, third hole. Yeah, again, I'm not sure. That's how they show it. Actually, I believe it's right here. I think I got that first one wrong. So that just looks more even. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. So now I'll go ahead and slide this up here. Get this started here and then I can screw it on down. And I'll fix the other one that I got lined up the wrong way. Definitely glad I assembled this here rather than out on the street. take a little figuring out, which is fine, part of the fun. Okay, and I'll pull that top one back apart, and I'll line that up how it's supposed to be, just like that, match it up. On down and we're in. And just snug it up a little. Okay, now we're ready for mounting the mailbox. And I just want to adjust the final deal until um, I've got it figured out to get my height just right. So that was going to be the box arm. Okay. And now is going to be lining up our holes. take some adjusting here as to exactly where our holes are. Which is fine because we actually can turn this and position it wherever we need to. Again in theory. actually does not line up quite well. So, again, glad I'm doing it here. <laughs> because this is the tricky part. Just figuring out how to line these up. And the kit is customizable, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to need to take these back off and basically figure out where it was going to be my best place 
to mount this mounting bracket. Because this is the tricky, tricky part. Because I know I basically really need to go through these holes unless I use some bigger washers. So what I need to do is line this one up and this one up. Yep, tricky for sure. Tricky, tricky. And it's definitely making me consider uh, Rolling some new holes because nothing is wanting to line up for me. See, that's fine there, but it's not going to line up my center hole. Oh, there we go. There it is right there. That's exactly where we want it. So I need my center screw through right there. Okay. And that's the one we want through our mounting bracket. Again, real tricky. Because basically, I need that. I may have to take this apart and I can kind of measure down here. just under six inches five and three quarter inches which is going to put me at like right on this mark which I believe I can do but that takes out this deal here
never had. Yeah, that was a tough one, but there it is. That was a tricky one. going to be the second one. So I'm just going to measure to that point as well. And we're looking at five inches. So can measure now five inches down here. Wow, this part's going to be tricky. So I may need to just kind of connect it this way. Let's see. First thing is going to be the ability to even line up the holes. Tricky. I know I need to take this off either way. likely it's going to be the same distance for this hole. I'm going to go with that to begin with. Seems like it'll make the most sense for me. Some of this is just going to be trial and error on assembling the uh, mailbox. Can't all be easy. I'm just going to snug this, but not too snug because I still need to adjust it for sure. Okay. So now we're going to take a shot at setting the mailbox on the post. Let's see if we can tighten this up. Here it goes. Go ahead and lift it up and we'll give it a shot. This one, no problem. We know that lines up. The problem is this one. And I may need to go with the lower deal because this is definitely not going to line up. Definitely, but actually, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Come on, buddy. There's that one. 
Now I just gotta get a bolt on it. And this is where you may want some help. <laughs> Okay, so now I got the worst of it. The rest of it is just tightening everything down. Fun, fun, fun. And again, I'll be able to position it once once it's in place, slide it up or down the post. But now we're nice and even, or we're ready for it to be mounted. It's great. Everything should work like it should. You're good to go. I'll just tighten these down and uh, make everything nice and secure. Okay, the deed is done, all nice and tight and uh, ready for the install. So now we can reinsert the bottom plastic tray and now we're ready to dig our hole. It's an uh, 8 inch uh, around and the 12 inch deep hole and then if we layer the bottom with about 2 inches of gravel or rock for good drainage. And then we're going to insert our post, measure and make sure we got a 10 inch deep hole from the top to the bottom, insert the post, surround it with quickrete, and then add our water. And uh, you want the, the quickrete that's a fast setting, um, and that just works so much easier. You don't have to really mix it. You just add your water and you're good to go. And you let your post dry. Now we measured for our proper distance, six inches back from the street, six inches from the mailbox next to it. 42 inches to the bottom of the mailbox. Nice new US Postal approved mailbox install. So to make this more secure, I added JB Cold Weld uh, to the post where I mounted the post to and also on the bottom of all the bolts and that way uh, it can't be taken apart or removed. Also, I drilled and put some screws through the back of the mailbox into the post to secure it and anchor it so it won't slip up or down just to make it more secure and to keep it uh, from being wobbly at all. Now it's nice and secure, good to go. And to make this even nicer, can use some black appliance touch-up paint and just cover up the little bit of JB cold weld that's showing on the bottom just to make it a little more perfect, a little more complete. Thanks for watching, Kung Fu Maintenance.